Today we're going to be playing some Moonstone Island. It's a cut down version of my Twitch stream. Thank you to Raw Fury for gifting me a key of this game. Let's get into it. So this game came out yesterday and I'll, I'll read the, the kind of synopsis that they've put there for it. Moonstone Island is a creature collecting life sim set in an open world with 100 islands to explore. Make friends, brew potions, collect spirits, and test your strength in card-based encounters to complete your alchemy training. So it looks like we can farm, but it sounds like it's not the main thing of the game, you know? Let's start a new game. I'm excited. This is so cute already. Sleepy bones. Oh, it's father. Hello, father. I know it's your last day at home, but that doesn't mean you can skip your chores. Come over here and give your old man a hand. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. I is for inventory. Escape is for menu. This is so cool already. These trees remind me of Pokemon trees. I'm not gonna lie. Little Pokemon trees. What is Q? Hold Q to open the tool wheel. Ah, okay. We don't have any tools. That makes sense. And M is for map. Map not available. Let's keep going. Hello. How do? So first off, these crops need harvesting. Oh my goodness. You could be in for a very long journey out there. After all, you get to decide which island you choose to become your new home out of a hundred islands. Don't want you leaving home empty handed and hungry. Right then, roll your saves up. Let's get these crops harvested. Oh, you could also grab that lily pad on the shore too. Time to grow. So how do I grab? I just right click. That's cool. Is this a horseradish? No, a stone fruit. A flax flower. Can I open this one? No, I don't get I don't get to have both. Father's not that kind. Let's go over the basics again. Lesson one, useful plants. Remember what I taught you. Flax is good for taming spirits. That's the one that looks like the little purple flowers. Stone fruit, the big round lad, is best for restoring stamina. And lily pads have healing properties. They taste awful though. Okay. All these plants are spring crops, so keep an eye out for useful plants in other seasons. Good job. Lesson two, harvesting seeds. You'll need seeds to grow more of the same plant. If you want to get seeds, you have to cut down the plant. Use your scythe to harvest seeds from any plant, even wild ones. Come over here and harvest the seeds from this plot. Oh, I have scythe. We have one in our, our thingy. Cool. Giving Pokemon meets Stardew Valley meets Mario RPG meets Super Mario World. Sounds like the best time to me. Right, harvest seeds. That's really cool. I like how you can harvest seeds or collect fruit. That's cool. Nicely done. Now, take this hoe and use it to dig a hole. When you've dug a hole, you can plant those seeds inside it. You can also use the holes that are already here if you don't want to make new ones, I suppose. Okay. Oh, nice. And then I just, like, plant. Is that it? Perfect. Now once the seeds are planted, you have to tend to them and help them grow. Here, Tan, give those seeds a drink. Okay, can I... Oh no, I need my watering can on. Okay, I see. I'm picking up what we're laying down right now. Lesson three, growing plants. Remember, crops need to be watered every day. If not, they'll wither and die, and you'll lose all your hard work. Of course, you can always hope for a rainy day to do the job for you, but stay there a tick. There's something else I want you to have. You see, I've been raising three spirits in secret. They still need plenty more training, but they're strong enough to keep you safe. You might have seen this before, it's your mother's medallion. It's sort of a portal to a pocket dimension where spirits can reside. This medallion is yours now. I've put the spirits I've been training in there already. Hop into the medallion and choose one of them to have as your companion. This isn't a test, don't worry, they're all good. Oh, oh my god. So we have a bee, we have this little dude, and we have this little dude. I feel like we have to go with the bee, you know, honey field notes and everything. Kappa, Kappa Sabi. View cards and stats. Oh my god. I see. Armor 2, speed 3, cool beans. Right, we can have a look at each of them then. View cards and stats. Drop cake. Oh my god. Cool beans. Armor 2, speed 3, I see what's going on. This one's really cute as well. It's a sheep. I see. Right, I'm gonna go with the B because, like, we have to. It just, if I didn't, how would I do it? I like cool bees. Exactly. Kappa Sabi. Great choice. I thought you might choose that one. How did you know? I'm sure you two will take good care of each other. Don't worry about the other two. Your mother and I will take care of them. Look over there, a wild spirit. This is perfect timing. Get over there and show me what you and your spirit can do. Oh, okay. Looks like this gremlin has a higher speed than your spirit, so it gets to make the first move. Enemy turn. Rock throw. 
How dare you take six points off my health? Time for lesson four, banishing spirits. We need to subdue these spirits to pacify them. They're not supposed to be this aggressive. The most important thing to remember, armor blocks attack damage. Reduce that armor to zero to make them dizzy and deal extra damage. You can reduce armor in two ways, using a card that removes armor or attacking with element they're weak to. Okay. Try using bash to reduce the gremlin's armor and leave it open to attack. It said bash, right? There we are. Perfect. The bond between your spirit is already strong. Don't forget, if you reduce your opponent's armor to zero, it will get dizzy. Being dizzy makes them miss the next turn, which is your chance to deal more damage. Now you've got two energy left, so play two more cards. Three electric damage three times. Six damage. I'm gonna use shock. Wow. That was so good. Then, I'm gonna use shock. Now you're all out of energy, and your turn now, and let's see what this wild spirit does. Hold. Ah, okay. Oh dear, that looked like it hurt. This would be safe, you should heal your spirit. Remember I told you that lily pads were good for healing? Use the feed action and feed a lily pad to your spirit now. Lily pad. Oh, use this one. Okay, there you go, your spirit is looking much healthier. Looks like Gremlin is about to use Earthquake on you though. With the right moves, you may be able to stop that from happening. Now use another bash card to bring the gremlin's armor to zero. Get rid of that armor and you'll be able to make them dizzy so they can't attack. Bash. What if I just didn't do what he said? Brilliantly done, nice work. Now you've got the upper hand. Damage dealt to a spirit with no armor is much higher than usual. Bring its HP to zero and banish it to the great beyond. Well, I'm gonna use shock and I'm gonna use tackle. Don't I have enough energy? How much energy do I have? Oh, I don't have enough energy. Well, I've got to end the turn, I suppose. Um, okay, I'm gonna tackle now. Has this worked? Have we done it? Look at us go. Loot found! Stone fruit! <gasps> and we grew to level two! Look at us go. Let's continue and see what's going on. Spirit strength. Great work. One more thing. Lesson four. Point five, I suppose. Spirits can be tamed and brought into your medallion. Tame a spirit and you can use it in future battles. Remember to have flax on hand for taming spirits. Love it. Is that it, father? Sweetheart, are you done out there? Oh, that's our mother? Come back in the house. I have something else to give you before you go. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god. Hi. The stairs are blocked, which is sad. You look wiped out. Did your father have you ba banishing spirits for him? Of course he did. I'll make you a cup of tea, you poo thing. Why don't you eat one of these stone fruit you harvested to gain back some of your energy? Consume. Can I talk to you? That's better. Now that your dad's done with you, I want to tell you about the medallion he gave you. The medallion used to be mine, and now we are passing it down to you. Your moonstone medallion is a sacred tool invented by alchemists that came before us. Within it lies a pocket dimension that can house up to three spirits. The spirits you keep in the medallion will come to your aid when you need help. You can also build a barn to house them in, which I think is a lot cozier. This game knows its audience. It's so cute, honestly. I'm loving it so far. This is all a bit confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Looks like that fight you had earlier got you enough experience. Why don't you try leveling up one of your spirits? You can do that by entering your medallion. While you're there, feed them this Nimbus plant too. Uh, it'll make you strong. Blah, 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 blah. It'll make them strong for your journey tonight. Medallion. How do we go in there? Oh, hold to enter. Ma Whoa. Whoa. Hi. Level up. What can we do? Okay. What do we want to level up? Armor, which reduces damage from attacks. Speed, which determines bash strength and who goes first in battle. Vitality, which raises base HP from 20 to 24. And power, which determines attack damage. What do we think? Do I want HP? Or do I want armor? Or do I want speed or power? I might do HP. Oh, new card to add to the deck. Exhaust. Once played, this card is removed from your deck for the rest of combat. Reduce the energy cost to all your cards in your hand to one. That sounds useful. Follow through. Draw one card. If you draw an attack card, reduce its cost to zero. And then draw one card. Does not get discarded at the end of your turn. Discarded once played. I might get exhaust. Don't leave just yet. You've got a long journey ahead of you. You should feed the Nimbus plant to your spirit first. How could I forget? Can I give you Nimbus plant? Take care. So cute. Okay, right. Let me see. Do I talk to you again? Thank you for doing that. Your father is all about the fighting, but you have to take care of your spirits too. Now your spirit should have the strength they need to keep you safe. I can't believe you're leaving home today. I'll miss you so much. But you'll only be gone for a year, right? Then you'll have completed your alchemy training. I'm so proud of you. Are you sure you're ready to go? I'm ready to go. Alright then. This is it. Next time I see you, you'll be fully fledged alchemist. 
We're going to become an alchemist. This one last gift is for you, kid. I made you these tools, they're not much, but they'll get you started out there. Now give your dad a hug. We're both so proud of you. Okay. Oh, we got so many tools. We have a broom? Does that say a broom? Here's a few seeds from the garden. I've been saving them for you. Plant them as soon as you settle in, okay? You'll need them for your big adventure. And look at all those seeds. Oh my goodness. Just remember, we'll be with you whenever, wherever you are, wherever you decide to call home. And we love you so much. And I'm proud to see you following in our footsteps, sweetheart. You're gonna be make a great alchemist. Remember, all alchemists share the love of things that grow. That applies not only to your crops, but also to the people around you. Oh my darling. I'm so excited to see who you grow into. Just promise me you'll be safe out there. The world is changing, becoming more dangerous. I promise. We need you back in one piece, okay? Well, the wind is starting to pick up. Guess it's time for me to let you go. Are we gonna fly? Maybe. Time for the final lesson. Charge up that broom, then release its energy to catch the wind. And be safe, we love you. Um, can't fly here. Stand on the edge and face. I'm literally standing on the edge. <gasps> oh my God, we're flying. We are flying. Generating world, building islands, placing shrines, and adding dungeons. Don't worry. We have to do this once. Thanks for waiting. Okay. I'm hyped about this. I am so hyped right now. What's that light over there? Oh, there's a town off in the distance. Finally, I hope they need an alchemist because I really need to get off this broom. I think I'm getting splinters. This reminds me of Kiki's delivery service. Oh, this wind is getting really strong. Is it supposed to this hard to stay on the broom? Oh no, I think I'm losing control. How do you land this thing? There goes my brand new broom. Ugh. And I've dropped the tools dad gave me. And one seeds. Guess I'm not leaving here anytime soon. I hope this isn't a bad omen. I better look around and see if I can find the tools and seeds I dropped. Oh my goodness. Thank you for purchasing Moonstone Island DLC. We hope you will um, enjoy your extra crafting recipes. You can find them in your crafting menus at the decoration station and the Moonstone Enchanter. So as I got gifted the game, I got the DLC with it, which I've just found out. <laughs> Only just found out, which is great. Oh my goodness. Love that for us. Wow. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, what is this? Is this our broken broom? Seeds. We got an axe. Okay, seeds. So our things is like gone. Oh, if I just passed out, you fell asleep. Try to get up to bed for, before 2am. I don't have a bed, you silly sausage. Look at how pretty this is. This makes me want to dye my hair white. Oh my goodness. No dungeons cleared. We've discovered two spirits. And we banished ones. Save and go to sleep. Cool. You're up. Are you okay? Also no. A little cutie. So you drop out of the sky last night. Then I find you passed out on the ground. So I got Quill to carry you here. I was worried you weren't going to wake up. But you did. I guess with that get up, you must be a new alchemist. How exciting. Or a new stunt performer. Anyway, you can stay in the spare room if you need somewhere to crash. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said crash. That's really insensitive, isn't it? You can sleep here if you want. I have to charge rent eventually, though. Oh, and I think these are your tools. I'll just leave them here for you. I found them scattered all over the place. I hope it's okay that I picked them up. Maybe you could get your tent set up on the north side of town if you clear a space for it. Don't be afraid to chop the trees and cut the grass if you need to. Then you'll have a place all to yourself. I guess you could um, set it up on one of the outer islands, but there are wild spirits out there. I think maybe you should take it easy for the time being. Anyway, take your time getting- Oh, you seem pretty bruised up, but I don't think anything's broken. I might have some work for you too, so come downstairs when you're ready. That's a lot! Okay. Is there anything on here? No. No. Oh. This is too cute. Oh my god, look at this style. Can I play the guitar? No. Can't go in the cellar either. Hello. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Osano, and I run the tavern here on Moonstone Island. Come on by anytime. Well, anytime we're open, I mean. Oh, I've got something for you. It's a crafting recipe for a cell crate. Build one and place it wherever you get set up. You can drop anything you want to sell in there, like crops or items. I'll pick it up at the end of the day and pay you for everything that's in there. If you want more recipes, you'll have to find them, I'm afraid. I hear mines and dungeons are good places to start. Oh, one more thing. Can I ask you a quick favor? I also need some stone to rebuild some mine basement damage don't ask if you have time could you bring me some kind of want to ask but sure <laughs> thank you you're a lifesaver just put the stones in the cell crate and i'll pick it up you can ask on date you can date people what's in the shop <gasps> coffee beer wine and the dish of the day and we are broke okay let's go explore i suppose oh Hi, sweetheart. Your dad thinks I'm silly for writing a letter so soon after you left, but I had a horrible dream that you broke your broom. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you. I'm sure you're fine, but I left you a crafting recipe for a balloon, just in case. 
um, you're not, and don't be afraid to build bridges if flying is too scary. When your dad was a new alchemist, he only used bridges to get between islands. Hope you're doing alright, sweet team mum. Amazing. Craft a balloon. And is this the mail? Can I use that? Okay, we've already got this. Congratulations on your subscription to Mailco and your ownership of a brand new mailbox. You can now receive letters through the mailboxes in your town and even craft your own. This is so freaking cute. Oh my god. Is this like an observatory? Oh, hello. You must be that new alchemist everyone's talking about. I've always wanted to see an alchemist uh, regalia in real life. Wow. Nice to meet you. I'm Professor Zed. I run the science center. You should drop by when you've seen a few spirits. Um, I'd love to talk research with you. Oh, before I forget, one more thing. Just so happens that I was recently awarded a grant to study the spirits that in that inhabit you know inhabit the outer islands pretty sure it's dangerous work let's just say i'm more of a lab kind of scientist uh so if you're up for it i was thinking we could help each other out i need you to bring me a spirit that's at least a level five you see i can't do the dangerous field work like you can but i can handle the boring academic bits thank you zed as a thank you i'll have paolo draw up some blueprints for a spirit barn which you can use to house spirits. And you'll get credit on the paper too. Sure. You can ask him on a date as well. Oh my goodness. Right. Is the music? No. Okay. Oh, I can hear my little tappy walks though. That is so cute. Let me harvest that crop. Let me pick up these flax flowers. <gasps> and we got some of these. Wow. Do I have all of my things? I do. Let me get my scythe out. And how do I do this? Can I cut the grass? <gasps> we got fiber. Is this important? Do we need fiber? Maybe I'll collect some just in case. Let's see. And if we fiber these, we get seeds. Not fiber. Chop. <laughs> Right, we exploring. Exploring is the best part of these games, I think. I can't wait until we can like get into the mines, wherever those are. Also, we're meant to sleep before 2 a.m. I, how do I make a tent? That is something that would be useful information, you know? All the seeds. I don't even know where we're going. There's so many of these. Oh my goodness. Who are you? Weird outfit. You must be the new alchemist. Is it Guyana? I work at the conservatory. If you don't mind, I have somewhere I need to be. Kind of obsessed. Chat. She doesn't like us. Oh, okay, wait, I'm gonna stop. She doesn't like us. Let's not chat. What vibes of the game? I would say we're literally just starting. We've just got out of the beginning of it. So I'm not entirely sure what it leans more towards, but it seems less farmy than other games. It seems like it doesn't rely heavily on that. We are exploring a bit at the minute. It is open world, so I'm, I imagine it is probably quite explory. He's just let it, you gotta be. Also, how do I craft things? Is this it? Oh, it is. Do we have a tent? Sell crate. No. We've got cloth. We don't have a tent. What do we do about that? I don't know. Can I speak to you? Oh, it's Zed. I skipped my morning coffee today and now I'm in dire need of a nap. Relatable. I want to meet everyone. Why is the bee so angry? This is my bee. He does look angry. You gotta collect creatures and that is so exciting. There's just something about it, you know? Let's go back to that spare room. I wonder. I might be a little bit lost though, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa. Oh, is this like the greenhouse? Oh, it is. It gives you health. We're so fast in it though. <laughs> Can I go sleep in there? I'm gonna pass out if it gets to two. Right, let's, let's go. Let's go back. I'm lost, guys. Where did I come from? I'm so confused. Very exploring me things. Um, <laughs> was it this way? I remember the bridge. I remember going across a bridge. That really does not help, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you think I can see that? Is that where I'm meant to be going? And am I down here? Let's go. I have no idea where we are. I might pass out. I don't know if there's a penalty. That tiny map, what the heck? I know, I mean, to be fair, it is a hundred islands big, so it makes sense. Did I go up here? Was it this way? Maybe. My cat's attacking me. This feels promising, or is this right back where we were? Bessie, so we might pass out, I'm not gonna lie. Can I... I didn't have a thingy, did I? I didn't have a, a tent, a bridge, wood fence, gate, chest, cloth, and we don't have any of these. Cell crate, an enchanter. Journal, research, relationships. Hmm. I'm just gonna get things for now. But this is gonna suck passing out, but you know. It's also so dark. Oh my goodness. It makes sense, it is two in the morning. 
in the morning, loves. Could I go in cave? Do you reckon? Nope. <laughs> I'm a sleepy baby. Did I end up back at the, the inn? Maybe. Did like nothing. That's fine, I suppose. Oh no, I overslept. Oh, is that because we passed out? You said I could build a tent. Where's my tent? Okay, we're not open. I have six gold. All my gold went missing. Oh, we just got delivered a, met a, let a letter by a bee, I think. Hello, Osano here. Welcome to Moonstone Island. This is a newsletter that you automatically goes out to everyone who moves here like you. Step one of setting in. Get to know your new neighbours. Some might even have jobs for you, which is great because then you can get money to spend at the tavern and that's all. Okay. Hi, who are you? You're the new mechanic. Quill? I mean, no. What was it? We haven't had one before, so I forget the word again. Might forget the word again. Nice to meet you. Let me talk. Why? Do they not like us? He liked our joke. This is so cute. Oh, there's a little present down there, I think. Oh no, is that just part of the gate? Yeah, that's part of the gate. Hold to activate. What? Choose a talisman. Fence, meditate, and study. Feed to a spirit to remove a card from their deck. Feed to a spirit to upgrade a card from their deck. Feed to a spirit to add a new card. Let's meditate. That is very cool and neat. What's in here? Oh, we're just in people's houses now. Oh, not good enough friends to enter the bedroom. That makes sense. Don't even know whose house this is. I'm not gonna lie. Hi yo. Most people hate Wednesdays, but I think they're all right. Wow. They're done with talking for today. That's really sad. Bye. Who are you? Oh hi. You're new. Welcome to Moonstone Moonstone Island. Hello, Rowan. I run the shop here, and I can help you with supplies and stuff. Oh, I'm Rowan. Sorry. Let me know if I can help you settle in. No, he didn't like our joke. He liked us talking to him though. So cute. Literally cannot. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, it's you, the new alchemist, right? Thera, you have me going feral. You're cuter than I thought you'd be? Bestie. I was imagining some old guy with a beard. Look, while I have you here, have you stumbled across any mines yet? They tend to be hidden under big rocks, so try and break some open with your hammer. Um, okay, we can break rocks with our hammer, but not the rocks in town. Those are protected and Ophelia will kill you. And then just climb down the ladder into the dark Oh, what could go wrong? Anyway, the reason I ask is because you need some copper ore. And I'll teach you how to make ingots, yeah? I'll even pay you full price for the ore. Win win. Sounds fun. I'm gonna tell you a. Oh, she didn't like our joke. Oh, okay. Bye. I also need to not pass out um, tonight because, like. I really do not have the money to do that. Hello? Yes, yes, you're the alchemist. I'm Paolo, and I do the carpentry work around here. I'm sure you've met some of the others in town already. Is everyone treating you well? We don't get newcomers here that often. Let's chat to you a little bit. Oh, he likes how we're chatting. Chatting up a storm, if you will. Right, what is this way? What is this? What are you? A warp whistle? What frick's a warp whistle? Oh, I have no idea what that did, but... Oh, I think we can warp there using the whistle. That is amazing. Okay, that makes me happy because we do we do need to get back home at some point, you know? Did General tell you how to make a tent? That is a good point. Furnace for a friend. Meet the locals, stones settling in. Use my tools, place a tent. But I don't have it. Oh my God, it's literally in my inventory. Besties, <laughs> it was there the whole time. Thank you for that. You you helped. You helped a lot. Okay, let's go find somewhere to put our tent. That was so embarrassing. Where could we do it? We could do it up here somewhere. What about here? I think here is really cute. We've all been there. We have indeed. Just because I don't know what everything looks like. It's not my fault. But, whoa, this is a big boy. Once you place your home, you can't pick it up until you craft another one. Are you sure you want to place it here? Well, no, I'm not sure. I don't know. Why can't I pick up my tent? It's a tent. This is pretty. You know what? I will put it there because that's close to town and I'll not lose it. Imagine if I put it just somewhere random and I lost it. <laughs> that wouldn't be very slay if you ask me, you know? And I can get back here already, you see? I already know where we are. Right, let's place it here. Look at how it ends! Oh my god. I love how we can just plop it anywhere. What are you? Oh, it's a little spirit, you know? No biggie. No biggie. Right, I suppose we'll want to get rid of this rock. Do I have a pickaxe? Oh, it seems that I don't have a pickaxe. But I have an axe, so let me chop some trees down. Oh, that animation is satisfying. Okay, beautiful. And let's... Blacksmith said the hammer. Oh, yes, you're so right. Right, let's try that out. Oh, I didn't mean to go inside, actually. <laughs> now we have our own bed, though. That's a great time. Ooh, nice. We got some stones. Slate. A hoe. Let us make our own little farm. Do we have like, energy? We do. It's at the bottom. It's in the bottom left. If you can't see it. I actually don't know how many seeds we have. 
So we have 11 flax seeds. This really doesn't feel like super, super like we need to do loads of farming, you know? Broken broom. We got five of these stone fruit seeds as well. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Look at us go. Also, they said that um, big rocks can have like ladders down, right? Maybe this one isn't big enough, but I'm interested. We got coal. Look at all this stuff. Oh, we have a shipping box, don't we? Oh, we were meant to make one. I'll make. More wood. Let's get some wood then. I want to keep the trees around my place. They're cute. So I'm just going to whack the ones not next to my place. Oh, we don't even have to be that close as well. That makes me happy. Wait, craft cell crate. Amazing. And I'm going to put it right here. That's so cute. Then I'm going to put... Where's my rocks? How many did I need to do? I don't know how many rocks I needed. Probably more. I think it was like 20 or something. We could go into the mines. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow morning. Let me see the journal so we can have a look at how many we need to do. 20. Cool. How many have we got? 22. Oh, how do I sell? 20. Yes. Nice. We did that. What is glowing there? A little firefly? Maybe. Right, let's go to sleepies, I suppose. Go to sleepy buys. Actually, I want to sell some stuff for money. So let me sell like six of these. And then sleepy time. It's our first time in our bed. Oh, look at our little nighttime outfit. Wait, no, it's so cute. Mm -hmm.